happening. <laughs> Is this working? Oh, it is working. What up, everyone? How's it going? How's everyone doing today? Oh my god, the chat's on this side of the fucking thing. It's been a while. It's been a long ass while. What up? What up, Alba S, Petty Police? Hey, eh? I'm wearing my. I'm actually wearing my merch. First time, like. Well, I think I wore my merch like every one other time, but. I usually, I never wear this shirt. I wore this shirt out one time and people were like, is that you? And then I, ever since that I've been like, I can't do it. I can't wear my own shirt around. It's fucking, it's too, it's too weird. It breaks too many like fourth walls or whatever. Being a dry girl with my salad. Hey, let's have watermelon Pocky. Pokey Pocky, Petty King, Abby. What up, Abby? What up, Elizabeth Myers? What up, Louise? Louise Hyo, I um, probably said that very wrong. What up, John? Can't say that. That's an Italian. Gagler, Gagliar, Gagliardi? Gagliardi. Alba S, thank you so much for the donate super chat. Missed you. I miss, I miss doing this too. I'll have to like give everyone a full rundown of where I've been or what's been going on since it's since it's been a while or whatever. Tatiana Wilson, thank you so much for the super chat. Finger hurts, finger hurts. Oh, Freddie Mercury is here? <laughs> thank you so much. Have you seen Amberlynn's famous birthday page? She 100% wrote it herself. I have not. Thank you so much for the super chat, Freddie, Freddie Mercury. I have not. I'll have to fucking check it out. I have not seen it. People have been sending me all of the updates of uh, what Amberlynn's been doing. That's the, like, one thing about this. Like, it's funny. Like, Willow did his video kind of, like, parodying, like, what it's like to be an Amberlynn React channel. And, like, to an extent, like, it's pretty true. It's pretty dead on. Um, but that's what one thing that is for sure is that, like, I will never probably not know what Amberlynn's doing. Because every, there's, like, 30,000 of you guys out there now that are like, let me know exactly what she's doing. It's so funny. Like, I don't have to follow her on Twitter because everyone sends me the fucking screenshots. Caitlin Carp, I finally caught a stream from you. Missed you. Thanks, girl. Thanks so much for the super chat. Uh, don't worry about donating, Danny. It's I. Your presence enough is is enough for me. Um, her girl is bedbound. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah, I would. I would go. I would. If I were a betting man, I would bet on that. <laughs> but okay, so I wanted to do a little bit of a rundown of where I've been or what's been going on. Grace Tally, love your videos. Thank you so much for the super chat, Grace Tally. Um, so for the past two and a half weeks, I've been like in a study K-hole of just like nothing but midterms. I took my last midterm today. Um, but on top of that, I mean, that's been going fine. Um, my grandma is a lot better than she used to be. She's actually on low sodium. I've got her AFib under control. All that good stuff. Now for me, <laughs> this is actually a recent development. So for the past... I think I, I, first I want to say like, I've always been that person or that kid that has always gotten sick. Like I'm always that person who like is sick all the fucking time. Like, I don't know if my immune system's like garbage or whatever. Like I've been hop hospitalized multiple times with like pneumonia. Um, I've had like multiple surgeries on my ears when I was younger because I had like constant ear infections, had my tonsils out when I was like, I've always been that person who gets sick all the fucking time. So for the past, oh my God, my nose is running. For the past um, two and a half months or whatever, I've had this pain in my abdomen and I've been trying to figure out um, what what it is. Like I've seen a ton of doctors about it, like a ton, well, I haven't seen a ton of doctors, but I've seen like my gastro, um, my regular doctor, you know, I've had scans done. Um, I've had endoscopies done. Um, and I finally got like an answer about it on Tuesday and, um, uh, 
it turns out <laughs> that I have an enlarged spleen. Um, they don't know why I have an enlarged spleen, but like I haven't, then that's what the pain is. Um, it makes sense though, because my symptoms and everything, like along with the pain of just being like fucking tired all the time and just like, um, just general mal how do you say that? Or is it molasses or whatever? Like when you just feel sick all the time and like, you're just like, I'm tired, grumpy, sick. My side hurts all the time. Um, Carrie Langford, thank you so much for the super chat. Watching from Ireland, so happy I stayed awake. A hey, girl, a hey. um, narf narf. As someone who also looks after an elderly grandparent, you're a real inspiration to me. Oh, thanks, boo. You're an inspiration to me. Thank you so much for the super chat. Megan Longoria, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm a new sub. I've never seen an AL video before, but I binge all your videos. Um, now I'm hooked. Maybe just hooked on your personality. Well, thanks, girl. Thanks for watching. So yeah, so um, that is malaise, malaise. So yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I have to go see my regular doctor again. And cause my surgeon was the one who like saw the cat scans or whatever. And he was like, bitch, your spleen big. Like, and I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, he didn't say it like that. Obviously he wasn't like, bitch. He was, just, that's in my head. That's how I reenact it. Um, so um, that's, so now I, on Friday, I go and see him, and then they're gonna probably send me off to somewhere else, which will take fucking forever. I'm honestly at a point, rabid, rab, rabid, rabid, rabbit sugars, rabid, rabbits huggers. <laughs> Donating for the Enlarged Spleen Foundation. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Um, rest in peace to the essay I should be writing. <laughs> Keely, I, print, I wrote three papers, and I had four exams in the past two and I'm like done. I'm fucking over it at this point. Um, so yeah, that's why I haven't really been uploading is because on top of not feeling well and like having to do like midterms and work, like I just like, once I'm, once I finish my schoolwork and once I'm done going to school and work, I literally just come home and veg out because I'm just so tired. And I don't know, like, and obviously there's something going on inside that we haven't figured out yet. So hopefully we can fit. I'm at the point now, like it's been hurting for so long that I was like almost I'd be like, can you just cut the fucking bitch out? Just cut it out. Just fucking let's fucking make the appointment right now. Let's just fucking cut it out. But he was like, oh, we can't do that. So we're going to have to like do some other things. Um, 1000 rats. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, good luck with your spleen. Love your vids. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Having the microphone right here kind of like hurts my finger hurts. Um, DLR, DL1982 Peters, thank you so much for the super chat. I can actually raise my arm up more. Never caught a live stream before now. Thank you so much for the super chat, Bachelor Barbecue. There's so many super chats right now. Had to say I love you in your videos, thanks. Tanya K K Kirpin, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh. Have you been tested for Epstein Barr virus? I have not. Um, I just, I just had on Tuesday. I went in and I they, they did like so much blood work, and I don't know what they tested for. He just like wrote a bunch of shit down. He was like, "I'm getting you tested for all this shit," and then um, we're going to we're gonna send it to your doctor and then your regular doctor, and then he can send it to who he needs to get it sent to. So in a way, cause I was worried for a little bit. I was like, God damn, is something wrong with my stomach? Like, do I have like a fistula? Like, cause that, cause w w the symptoms were like, kind of like a gas. This is why you don't go on Google. Like, cause I was like, do I have an ulcer? Do I have a fistula? Like, what is it? But I've had like, like a ton of endoscopies, CAT scans um, with contrast, um, barium swallows. And there was nothing, there was like everything in my like digestive system is working. And so, and I didn't know this, but like when I got, when you see like a specialist in you, typically they only look at what they're specialized in. So like, cause I was like, well, God, why didn't my gastro say anything about the spleen or whatever? And my, my surgeon was like, well, he's not going to look for that. Like that's not his thing. So he's not going to like look specifically for that. Like if he does see it, then he'll, he'll say something. It's the virus that causes mono. Th see, the interesting thing is, um, 
my grandma was like, maybe you have mono. I was like, I don't know if I have mono. Like, I'm tired and stuff. But, like, whenever you hear about people with mono, like, they're dead. Like, they're just fucking, like, so sick. Like, I'm still able to, like, push through and go to school and stuff like that. And, like, God, I hope I don't have mono. And I'm, like, getting everyone like, sick at school. That would suck. Day Jonna, thank you so much for the super chat. Scorpio Opal, thank you so much for the super chat. Down at least 15 pounds. It's January 26th. Just 120 and 140. Girl, you got this. Boy, a girl person you got this <laughs> you can do it uh martina t thank you so much for the super chat pln what is that can someone tell me what money currency that is matt's van sending love from arizona hey hey have you bumped into the sister wife clan there have you bumped into cody and them michael what's your advice on moving forward after getting fired um Try not to like let it bother you too much. Just know that like maybe it just wasn't a fit and you can go out and do bigger and better things. Um, I believe that like all things happen for a reason. So Rachel, I have mono laughing myself rip. I, I hope I don't have mono. I really don't want to have mono, but um, thank you so much for the super chat. Danielle Marie, thank you so much for the super chat. There is a mono outbreak at my school from everyone sharing vapes, ew. That is the same thing. I was always that kid, like when I, um, kid. <laughs> when I was like a smoking pot or whatever, like in college, in co I'm in college, but like when I was 18 and stuff and I was like smoking pot. I know, right? Oh my God, Michael smoked pot. Um, I would always get my lighter and, um, use the flame to disinfect the mouthpiece if I was sharing pieces with people. I was always that person. What up, A-Guy? A-Girl's in here, too. A Foxy Mess is in here, too. City Dweller. I see y'all. Um, it's funny that Cody and Mary's daughter from Sister Wives lived in Uptown in Chicago, right? I mean, Mar uh, Mariah seems to be the only one who's, like, wanting to get the fuck out of there. It was only... I mean, you when you have, like, 24 kids... It's only like the odds are that one of them will be gay. <laughs> like, and I just think it's so funny how it was Mariah, the one who was so like, I, cause I like Sister Wives. I enjoy the show. I think that like some of them are garbage people. I think Cody and Robin are garbage people. Personally, my favorite is Christine, not because I find her to be her personality to be the most refreshing, but just for the simple fact that, um, uh, she when she has something very serious to say or she's like throwing shade she like whispers which like from what my understanding is like a tactic about um it's like a tactic that people use to like get people to like listen it's like a passive aggressive tactic because like if you're saying something that's like really rude and you like whisper it it forces people to shut the fuck up to listen to you so like I, I, I don't know I just find her to be the most like entertaining Jessica Bost Bost Yami here to Gracie with her friends. Oh, Yami from Twitter. Or from Twitch, sorry. My brain's like, I'm in brain fog. I don't trust Robin. When Robin was like, they were like at like, they're in Flagstaff right now, like trying to buy property or something. And um, Janelle was like, oh, I want to put money down on this thing. Cause like, Jan I guess Janelle's the one who's in charge of like the family account. Robin was like, I'm going to watch Janelle like a hawk. I was like, Ew, uh, that is so weird. Michael, did you fuck with Dance Moms? Yeah, I did fuck with Dance Moms. I'm probably not going to watch the new season because I feel like Abby is incredibly horrible. I feel like in a way, like Dance Moms was like borderline child abuse. The things that they did to those girls was fucking disgusting. Um, the way Abby treats people is fucking disgusting. Um, and the moms are just as bad too. The moms act as if they had like some leg to stand on or whatever. It's like you willingly subjected your children to this for for fame. Like that is fucking ridiculous. Like you, that is so gross. I don't even. I can't even imagine wanting to put my like child through that. So yeah, but it's just. I remember I I got high one time. <laughs> like this was like six seven years ago or something, and I like, I remember watching an episode of it and like um i don't know maybe this wasn't six years maybe it was like four or five years ago it must have been five years ago i was watching an episode of it and like i was like in my room i like just got outside and like and like 
like smoked a bowl real quick and I came back into my room and I was watching it and like um they were arguing and they like they like zoomed in on Kira's face and literally it made me have like a bad trip because like I was like she looked like the fucking devil like she legitimately looked like the devil it was so scary it was so terrifying I was not for it I was not about it glitter abuse thank you so much for the super chat dl 1982 peters maddie's mom is such a damn snake yeah but you gotta admit though whatever maddie's mom did fucking worked because the only one who has like a career career right now is maddie like all the other ones are just doing youtube I'm, they're just doing youtube but like you know what i'm saying like maddie's in movies maddie's in music videos maddie's like and I, honestly i never thought that like maddie was like mean or anything like i just thought she was a good dancer and so um, Hex donated $15. Love you tons, Michael. I hope you feel better soon. Also, my plans to stream on Twitch once you start feeling up. Um, any plans? Yeah. I do want to, I, I do want to, I actually enjoy, I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Jojo Siwa is fucking really popular too. Jojo Siwa is like, ah, fuck. I, I almost don't even consider her a part of Dance Moms because she wasn't on there that much. Um, also, I want to like get this out there. I love all the, the girls. I think all the girls are amazing. The only one I think is like a little bit too much is, um, I feel like Kendall kind of has a itty bitty attitude problem. She's just like her mom. <laughs> so that's it. But other than that, I think she's like, um, she's beautiful. She's talented, all that stuff. Um, my personal favorite was always Nia, just because she was always the underdog and they are always just, um, they always like came at her and like they were so dismissive of her. And stuff like that so also nia's music video um what's the name of her song da -da 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 -da. i can't remember the name of the music video i don't know the one that she did with aubrey o'day is fucking fire Chloe, yeah, Chris. Honestly, all the moms are garbage. I don't know. I don't like any of the moms. Real talk, because the way the way that they would talk about the kids or each other is in front of the kids is so awful. Like, and they would get so pissed at at um, Abby for doing that shit. But dude, you're the moms. Like, you should know better. Like, honestly, if I were a parent of any of, the, I'd be like, uh, uh, we're not doing. It. It's not even worth it. Like, it's not worth all the psychological issues you're gonna have as an adult from this shit. Like, how would you go? This is an interesting question. How would you go about outing a company that treats you like shit? My BS company abuses the shit out of him, and I am at a high risk preterm and take care of our daughter when he's at work Ooh, that's a hard one well i would start off by writing something to better business bureau i mean i don't know that they're not like the greatest or whatever but like it's something you could do um do the, is there a human resources department like is there is the human resources department reliable is your is your boyfriend a part of um is, did, is your boyfriend a part of like a, a a union like you know there's a lot of op there's a lot of options um sometimes in the states they have a place where you can report employer abuse um through like the the actual like the state government and that's the only advice i haven't really encountered something like that yet Unfortunately, Jessica Bose, wait, didn't Dance Mom's lady go to jail? Yeah, she did go to jail. And now she has like cancer and she can't walk or something. Like, I can't believe that they're bringing that show back. Honest to God, like I thought that people were like, all right, we're done. Like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna abuse children on camera anymore, but nope. Now we're gonna abuse her on camera. Now we're gonna abuse kids on camera in a wheelchair. Like, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Cristo. What's the funniest ALR video in your opinion? Thank you so much for the super chat, Freddie Mercury. Thank you so much for the super chat, Nikki Razi. Um, funniest one? 
probably the gift opening one, the Christmas one. Just be, I mean, I know she wasn't trying to be funny or whatever, but like, in my opinion, that is like the height of like, there was so much to unpack in that video. Like it starts off with fucking Destiny literally swimming in Christmas wrappers. Like, and it's just like, it's so, it's so, man, it, is, it, it checks all of those boxes for me. It's a, a lack of self-awareness. Um, the amount of greed, the manipulation, the relationship dynamics between Destiny and Amber, where it's like, because I used to always think that it f felt very mother-daughter to me. Um, uh, what else was in that video? Just, uh, just Amber's like blatant, like will, like she was. It was very obvious to everyone that their their relationship was going downhill, and so. Um, it was just it kind of like reinforced that like what everyone had thought like oh she's doing this to buy her love or whatever and it was true and then like what like a week later they dumped her i don't know that's my favorite video what do you think about brexit indigo dandelion um <laughs> i don't know uh <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like to comment too much on like other countries' politics because like I honestly don't know enough about what's going on over there to be like have an informed opinion. I do think that like it's fucking like crazy. Like I think that like y'all, I don't know, like the government over there needs to get their fucking shit together and figure it out. Like I, it shouldn't be that hard, you know, like but the, but it's like I live in America and we can't get shit done here either. So it's like, you know, I don't know. That's like, I guess that's my opinion on Brexit. Christina Tedla, what's your height? Um, I'm 6'6", six, six, almost 6'7". Six, <clears throat> what's your favorite L ALR video edit parody? KDW's are always the best, hands down. Um, I think that she does an amazing job. I low key want to, <laughs> I low key want to like, I want to ask her how she's able to gra gather all those clips so much because like, there are times where I'm making a video about it or whatever, or just in general, I'm making videos and like, it's, I don't want to download each and every fucking entire video to find, like, I, sh there has to be some way she's doing it. I don't know. I need to message her on Instagram about it. I've been meaning to message her about it and be like, bitch, you need to tell me the secrets on how you're like getting all these clips. Cause like, that's cra like, I don't even, you're, you're getting shit from like all over the place. Hannah, thank you so much for the super chat. Super shoot. Super chat. Um, hey, Michael, my friend Heather and I love you and your channel. You're, you're funny and always make our day. Glad to see you live streaming tonight. Thank you so much. And I'm glad you and Heather enjoy my content. It's like binoculars. Remember when people used to do this? <laughs> it's turkey sausage. Though. Oh, okay. Okay, if people really want me to like react to the kielbasa thing, I watch like the beginning of it and I'll watch. I It's very hard for me to watch. I don't like mukbangs, so I don't like Nick. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I don't like mukbangs because I don't like the sound of people eating. So like, it's really hard for me to watch it like that. And Amber's the worst at it. There, I feel like there are some channels that do mukbangs and they like, they do, they make a, they make a bigger deal out of it. Admin access, you're so tall. I guess I'm gonna have to unsubscribe. Aw. Are you tall phobic? I'm just kidding. Beauty in all sizes, admin. Don't come for my beauty. But yeah, I don't really watch a lot of mukbang channels because I don't like the sound of eating. I don't like the sound of like people chewing in fact like i have been there are there i have friends that i will not go out to eat with or eat around because um they they eat loud <laughs> and so um i i don't know so like there are some mukbang channels that like put the they put the fucking the like microphone like right here and they're like like super loud and i i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so sorry for everyone that i just did that too so yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Chantel. Ugh, I hate that. I honestly don't like Chantel. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, she's like figuring it out. She's going to the doctor, da, 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 da. Like, great, you're doing what you were supposed to be doing. Like, I don't really like, 
I don't I don't really see this is okay I'm just gonna lay it I'm just gonna lay it down for like why I don't like Chantel it's not that I don't I hate her or anything um Chantel's a hypocrite and she proves me right every fucking time she does something to be real um her whole stick about people criticizing her and how unfair it is I mean I saw the live stream where she essentially complained about Michael you're a cancer no I'm a Virgo um I've, I have I watched the live stream of her essentially blaming the reaction channels or or the commentary channels for why people don't like her. People have not liked her since I mean people have not liked her for a long time. So like I don't really understand how she like jumped into that logic. Like she was like, "Oh, people have only stopped stopped liking me so much because like all these people have started like calling me out on my bullshit on this platform no people have been calling you out for a long time you've been blocking people for a long time she's had drama on this platform for like three years so like i and i had i have my channel's not even a year old so it can't be and like same with zach like i don't think zach was like really coming at her any kind of way really either so um that's a whole that that in and of itself is stupid and then also i mean oh my god uh pretty much prove this too is she enjoys youtubers like leafy is here or like uh, in channels like that who essentially just like sit there and are petty as fuck and roast people so she just doesn't like it when it happens to her and i think she doesn't t gram seven thank you so much for the you. you're my favorite channel keep up the good work petty for life love it um city dweller you're a virgo too a hey, virgo um so yeah that's just like one of the um she just doesn't she's a fucking hypocrite like and then also she got she got so on our cases about people making fun of her for the way she looks and then she turns around and does it all the fucking time and then also i found someone sent me a screenshot sam callahan who is that an irish name i don't know that might be wrong i'm ha i'm part irish the sausage video almost made me vomit amber's chewing is cancerous thank you so much for the super chat dl 1982 peters please check out Scrooge and grubs in your free time one day there's some conspiracies on them it's worth your time thank you i will thank you so much for the super chat madeline lewis just got a new job and catching your life for the first time love your channel hey madeline i love the name madeline madeline's like one of my favorite names there's a youtube couple on here that um they're 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 a couple channel. They're the only couple channel I like, and they're it's Madeline and Steven. And um I like I don't know. I like I like her because she's like super chill and nice, but I, I love her name. She also has her brother Drew, um, who does YouTube too, and he's friends with like Enya. And they do like and i love enya enya's like my i fucking love enya so i get her humor like no other enya's the shit enya and drew are hilarious and so she's her, his twin and um madeline and steven like do a bunch of i like their videos they're funny they're chill i love how madeline or steven's like so like he's so like he's like he's like minor he's like kind of aggro <laughs> Um, the life of a free spirit. Hey, girl, love you. Hey, Callie. I love you, Michael. And thanks for having my back. Always, girl. I actually just got... I'm halfway through watching your video. Love it so far. Um, you did an amazing job. That whole shit was ridiculous. I'm so glad that you're coming out of the other end of that because, like, that shit was so fucked. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch the life of a free spirit's video. Um, that shit was fucking crazy. And I am not here for that mess that like that that rep and those fucking people try to put her through. That shit was stupid. Um, Angie Burns lost 20 pounds since I found the ALR community. Hey, I watch you and Zachary while on my elliptical. Thank you. For, thank you for your videos. Love you. I love I kind of dude. I, I love that. Like so many people are like using her as like a means to like actually do something about it and get get it like do something about their health and take it into their own hands. Like. And that seems to be a very recurring theme. <laughs> like, I love that um, Justine is, like, doing the whole, like, 20-pound uh, weight loss and da -da -da, stuff like that. And uh, Michael, is Shivy okay? Yeah, I talked to Shivy. She's just taking a break right now. I'm waiting for a premix video. Me too. I'll give my opinion on Repzilla. I don't like him. I've said that. I don't I don't like him. I think that the whole po peace positivity bullshit, I don't like people that do that. Well, not... Okay, I should rephrase that. I don't like people that, like, espouse to be a friend to all 
and all about positivity and all about um, good vibes only. And then are fucking kind of shady in the background. Like, and I don't, it's, I, I just want people to be who they are all the time. Like if you're gonna have the energy of like dragging people, then please have that energy all the time. Like you can't be like dragging people and then be like, well, I just want everyone, I just want peace and love. Like that doesn't work for me, okay? And like what he did was shitty trying to like get people to take the fall for hit doing to do his dirty work is not okay like and i don't fucks with that on any kind of level any kind of level and i know that he's he's made some references to some things kind of like in his other videos about he's like i don't i don't do bully videos it did it bitch your your channel is a commentary channel where you essentially just like like deconstruct and like T t you tear down people on that channel like regardless of if you feel you do that or not when you do a video about a certain person and you're like tearing them down even if you're in the right you're like you're essentially tearing them down so you can't be all about peace and love all the time like that's stupid like i don't like that like just be who you are like just say like you're a commentary channel like and that you and you you don't mind being messy every now and then <laughs> like because that's what you have to do so i don't know i don't like that and then when he came out and he he was he he rode so hard for the rewired soul and then as soon as he saw the tides turning he was like mm, abort like but by that time it was too late because he released this 44 minute video where he tried to like tear down a pregnant woman so you know like i don't know like it was just like i don't know i don't like it i'm just not into it i'm not about it and then <laughs> I like commented on his Twitter or whatever because he was, he does this thing where he taunts people and then he claim and then he plays the victim. So he'll do this thing where he's like, he was so shook about Primic doing his video, like so shook, like he was so terrified of that guy doing the video. And Primic does really good videos, so like I mean I'd be a little nervous too. But live in that, live in that energy, live in that, live in that like, oh yeah, I'm nervous. Like that's fine. I'd be nervous too, bitch. Like I'd be like, oh god, like oh, what's gonna happen, you know? Like Peter Mon, right? Like when when Petty Page was coming out with her video about Peter Mon, Peter Mon was like, please just release this. Like I, for my sanity, just fucking get it over with, right? Um, uh, but. Rep, rep was like all over the place he's like oh this is what happens when you have a hundred thousand subscribers and i guess people just come at you da, da 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 and then he's like i did nothing wrong i don't know why people are coming at me this is ridiculous and then and then in the next tweet he'll be like oh this is what this is what it's like just release the video primic i'm ready just do it release it and then people are like wait like that wasn't the same energy you were giving like yesterday like not even yesterday like six hours ago and then it's just i don't know there's just something very like i don't like the i just don't like it and so i commented on it i was like truth um i can get the fucking tweet out actually <laughs> let me get the tweet real quick because i didn't like the way that he framed it so i stopped responding to it because like i'm not about to do this with you i'm not gonna get sucked into like being like made out to be like that I'm like systematically like helping or something what did he say oh yeah oh it was Callie who like let, like tweeted him or whatever and she was like when I at when when asked about me you literally said you had no idea who I was I haven't responded to your DMs because I feel as though I can't trust you and you're all over the place that is sad as fuck and then he responded sent you the same thing I sent seven other people I said I didn't want to be a part of the drama as I decided to move on from it. You then decided to plot against me, recording my Discord group voices, all that other stuff you planned. Someone told me the truth, sent me everything. See, when he sent that, that like really rubbed me the wrong way because what essentially he's owning up to is the fact that he gave, he put batteries in seven smaller YouTubers' backs to do his dirty work. So I said, truth, you made a poorly researched video about someone and got raked over the coals. In order to take the heat off your ass, you pro proliferated some, some information to smaller YouTubers so they could take the fall for you. Now you're throwing your hands up, not wanting to be a part of the drama while totally disregarding the feelings and well-being of the small, smaller YouTubers. Don't throw, sand, don't throw stones and then try to hide your hands. And then he wrote, fact, I was being exploited for trying to protect my family, but now I am free free of that so i will tell the truth of of it all lol what does that even mean that's not even what we're talking about dog like i don't even know 
that's some manipulative ass shit. So like, I so people can't call you out on your poor, your piss poor behavior because your family was threatened or whatever. That has nothing to do with the fact that you literally want. I can't, dude. I it's so it bothers me so much. And he talks about all. He tries to pretend that he's like so humble about his like his um where he is or like like he's like oh i have 100 like he's always like i have 100,000 subscribers da, 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 da. i have 100 000. and then he's like and then the next breath he's like i'm so humble i know what it's like to be smaller and da, 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 da. like if you know what it's like to be smaller then you know what it's like to be taken advantage of by like a bigger youtuber like that's not okay it's not okay for you to like put that out there to smaller youtubers to do your dirty work for you i don't like that and that's what i was saying if you you the truth is i missed a i missed a donation i'm sorry do you watch Kicking Geese or Yar Yestrevark? I think I'm saying that right. Yeah, I watch both of them. I love I love both of them. I've watched this scene for a long time. Um, the life of a, of a free spirit. Get those receipts, bae. Hey, and thanks again. Love you. Um, can I get a shout out for my man Elliot in the stream for the first time today? Brooke K, what up, Elliot? How's it going? What up? Finger hearts for Elliot. So yeah, that's just where, that's my take on Repzilla or whatever. So I don't, he's probably not gonna like that I, I said that. <laughs> but the whole like being friends with everyone and then like getting people to try to do your dirty work for you, I don't fucks with that on any kind of level. Like I don't like that. If I have something to say or if I need to do something, then I'll just do it. Like I'll, I won't like tell people like, oh, here's all the information that you need to know. And if you wanna make a video, go for it. But I wanna stay out of it. I don't wanna be a part of it. That's not okay. Like, I'm sorry. I don't, that's, that'll never be okay in my book. And the Rewired Soul coming back and doing that interview with a 16 year old boy is fucking weird. I'm sorry. That is, that is fucking bizarre. That is the most manipulative ass shit I think I've seen in a long time. Oh, I've been, people are coming at me with valid criticism. So in order to address it, I'm going to go and do an interview with a 16 year old. Well, I'm not saying that 16 year olds are like, stupid by any means but i'm just saying that like they're they don't have enough life experience in my opinion to like really see through some of the bullshit and i think that guy did a really good job that paul guy i do think that he did a really good job with that but dude that is dude as soon as he did that i was like he's learned nothing he's learned absolutely nothing and if you watch an interview like he literally just makes excuses the entire time he doesn't own up to any of the sh anything he does like you're gonna go and do a chan on a channel with like 2,000 subscribers or whatever, the 16 year old addressing this shit. This is real shit, dude. Like this is real ass, sh like what? That makes no fucking sense. Like, why are you talking to a minor any, like, I don't know. That's fucking weird. <laughs> it's so, I don't know. I just think that that's weird. I just think that it's fucking weird. I don't like it. I find it to be very manipulative. Bastard or barbecue? You, yes, queen, spit the truth. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yes, sir, Mark is really nice. I, I, I rarely check my YouTube email. And he actually sent me an email and I like responded to him finally. So we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> Waterman pocket blames his injury each time. Yeah, I don't want to get into all that or whatever, but to each their own. I've seen people do way worse. But yeah, he does kind of do that. <laughs> Young Gibbs, I'm not into him either. What do you think about Michael Jackson? That shit's crazy. I watched the Finding Neverland thing. This is the thing that gets me, okay? <laughs> people want to act like, okay, I understand. Okay, people need to understand that like you can enjoy Michael Jackson's music and still think that he is a pedophile. Like it's okay, okay? Like... We're not out here buying his albums. We're not out here going to, like, I'm going to listen to Thriller. I don't care, okay? I'm going to listen to it. It is what it is. I bought the album, okay? I bought it in, I bought that CD in like 2004 or whatever. So I'm gonna listen to it, okay? But it is, Anna Kay, thank you so much for the super chat. You're my fave YouTube. I want to show you support today, thanks. Um, but um, at the same time, it's okay to agree that he did some fucked up shit. Like he did, I don't care. Like, and the people that are like, how dare you like, sp like speak ill on a dead man. Da -da -da -da. You know what? 
he did some fucked up shit. He wouldn't have been pro he wouldn't have been charged with like child molestation over and over again if there wasn't something there. And I'm sorry, but dude, the information I find Wade Robinson and that other guy Chris was his name Chris Safe Jake Jake Safe out Suck out Safe. I don't know. I don't know his last name. Um, I found that to be both incredibly credible like i don't think that they would just like come, i don't know i just found them to be credible and that's just my opinion on it um watch the right opinion yeah i watched that it was amazing <laughs> he did an amazing job thank you so much for the super chat so um i'm sorry i don't i don't it is weird that a grown man was having children sleep in his bed all the time it's fucking weird okay it's weird that a grown man constantly had like a little white boy around him at all times okay i don't it's it's weird uh, I don't care, okay? I, don't, I think that in this country, in this money is, if you, it doesn't matter. I know a lot of people like to think that the justice system is fair and violent, violence, balanced, and it's justice is blind and all that. No, it's not. If you have money, then you can get away with anything. If you have celebrity, then you can get away with anything. I mean, look at Lindsay Lohan, okay? That bitch should be in jail, okay? If she was a nobody, like if she was a no one and didn't have money it wasn't a celebrity she'd be in jail right now okay she'd be in jail that's just so I, it's i think that like people need to really remember that that like if you have money and celebrity and power and you know the the right people you can get away with a lot <laughs> i mean look at fucking what's his face Who's that guy that just got sentenced to federal prison for like all that shit in the election? I can't remember his name right now. Oh my God, what's his name? I have to look it up. Donald Trump <laughs> campaign manager. The old one, not the new, Paul Manafort. <laughs> it's like Kellyanne, it's not Kellyanne Conway, it's Paul Manafort. Like, people were talking about how that... For, he should have gone to jail for way longer for the shit that he did. And there's people that go to jail for, like, the dumbest shit in this country. For way less things. Yeah, Lori Laughlin ain't going to jail. Felicity Huffman ain't going to jail. Olivia J... All those people... If you have money and power, you're not going to jail. Jesse Smollett, probably not going to jail because he has money and power. Just look at the K-pop scandal. Exactly. Money and power, don't go to jail. Look at R. Kelly. People have been talking about the R. Kelly. R. Kelly literally had sex with a child on camera and didn't go to jail. Look at O.J. Simpson. That fool killed his wife and her boyfriend. Didn't go to jail. With all the evidence against him. Like, it's, it sucks. I think the part that creeped me out the most watching the Finding Neverland documentary was when... Um, he was showing the rings and the jewelry and stuff. Ugh. That like creeped me out so much. So much. It's like, oh, he'd buy me rings all the time. And then there's like YouTube video of them like, or not you, there's a, there's a surveillance video of them like him and, and the, and the kid like at jewelry stores like shopping for jewelry. It's so creepy. It's so, I, uh, it creeps me the fuck out. It creeps me out. OJ was backed by the father of the Kardashians. Yeah. I watched a, like, a, I, I don't know if I, I think I read an article about um, Rob Kardashian and his feeling behind that. And he talked about how, like, at the beginning, he, because he was so close to OJ, about how he backed him and all that stuff. And then as it went, as time went on, he was a coward and he wouldn't like come forward and be like, oh shit, I fucked up. Like, because he knew, like, halfway through it that, like, <laughs> he did it. But he was so far in it that he just couldn't stop himself, I guess. So, I don't know. What's the K-pop scandal? I'm such an old lady. I don't know. So, the K-pop scandal, essentially what happened, I believe. I don't know. Don't quote me on this. Um, there's a famous boy bander. You probably want to, probably, arguably, one of the most famous boy bands. Period, probably. People don't really understand that, like... Uh, a lot of the K-pop groups and stuff are like up there like so um he had like a nightclub or something and then there was like this dispute there and the police started investigating and then it came out that like there was all this other shit going on like um 
Michael, I love you. Thick King, Lil Drama. Thank you so much for the super chat. And then it came out that like he, he was involved in some kind of sex ring or something where they're like trading like I don't know. They're trading like I, like I think it's like a prostitution ring or something. And then they have all these videos and all these like chats between other K-pop stars about all this weird shit. And like all of them are like fucking going to jail now. Well, I don't know if they're going to go to jail, but like um now they're like all they're all getting round, round up and shit sex trafficking yeah it's not good it's not looking good i don't know and a part of me like thinks like i wonder i mean i don't know like our culture is pretty sexually liberated here so like we don't really put that much pressure on like our pop stars and our celebrities to like not have boyfriends and girlfriends and stuff like that so part of me wonders um a part of me wonders if it may be like the culture behind the K-Idol thing that like kind of caused that to like continue or make it so bad. Sitsi Doll, thank you so much for the super chat. Love you just got here. Jessica Bus OJ wrote a book about how he would kill his, oh my God, that's right. So um, I, a part of me wonders like if, if they were able to have like relationships normal relationships and like have sex casually and like it not be like this big old fucking thing when they date that shit like that wouldn't be as prevalent because when they have to be so secretive about it because like the second that they like talk about like like look at what happened with hyuna and like her boyfriend like they literally got fired because they wanted to date each other because two grown adults wanted to date each other two 25 year old hot ass motherfuckers want to fuck like they got fired that's crazy that makes no fucking sense like it's kind of the opposite of like here in a sense because like i mean remember when justin bieber and selena gomez were dating when they were young or whatever and like yeah selena gomez did get a lot of shit for it but like a lot of people were into it a lot of people were like oh my god like two hot people are dating like i don't know but it's weird like there they are not allowed to um they're not allowed to da they're not allowed to date like it's fucking weird and they get like all this pressure because they have to constantly have that image of like remaining single i don't know i don't know the culture so i'm probably being really ignorant right now <laughs> by talking about this but m from my opinion katie cuervo the background music is keeping me relaxed at work lol love from pittsburgh again Stay petty, love. Please do some Chantel or Amber racks. I'm gonna do an Amber. I'm gonna react to the kielbasa video. Everyone wants to do that. So I'll fucking do it, okay? I'll do it, guys. I'll stop talking soon. Um. So you know, and a part of me thinks like at the same time, like these people are artists. Um. A big part of art is love. I mean, look at Ariana Grande, right? Like she's killing it right now because she got her heart broken and like she got to experience that big dick energy of Pete Davidson. Like, could you imagine like how good? k-pop music would probably be if like these people were able to like express their sexual fantasies like in a normal and constructive way in a healthy way and then were able to like put that into their artistry like it would be amazing like they would it would you know like we already think they're hot as fuck could you imagine like how much hotter it would be like if they've gotten to experience what love is like and have their heart broken and like all that stuff like i don't know that's just like how I feel about that. <laughs> Pete Davidson law, right? But why would there be like, Brandy's like, bro, K-pop would fucking slay if that shit could happen. That's how I feel about it. If they were able to, like, have healthy, normal, like, like ups and downs of relationships and stuff and got to experience that stuff, I feel like that would only help their artistry. And I don't know why the fans put so much of a, pre like, pressure on them to, rem like, to keep this perfect virginal image. Like, that's, it's, w these people are hot. They're very good looking people. And they're around other really good looking people. <laughs> You don't think that they don't want to touch their genitals? Like, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Like, that makes no sense to me. <laughs> Shit. 
<laughs> like let them express their sexuality freely like it could only make them better people shit if i was that hot and i was around a bunch of other hot people i'd be getting it in i'd be getting it so in i don't even care <laughs> They're all so beautiful and there's so many of them too. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Oh my God, talk about Shane. Not, not even touching that. I'm not even touching that. We've already talked for 50 minutes. Let's get into a fucking video. Let's get into the Kibasa video that everyone wants me to watch. I feel like it's a little blurry, but I hope we're gonna make do. I think I need to make it. So, here we have turkey kielbasa. I hope I pronounced that right. I feel like I'm butchering it. I'm sorry. We have a red bell pepper. We have an onion. And then over here. See, I feel like if she had like cut this in half, Okay, first of all, I just want to say, if you're 560 pounds, you should not be doing mukbangs, period. I feel like that, I feel like that's a given. I feel like that's a given. But, if she had cut this in half, I don't think people would have cared that much. Real talk. Like, yeah, I mean, you could, she could have made better choices, but low-key, on the real, like, on real, 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 like, she's 560 pounds, if she had ate half of that and then like ate in like three more meals half that size that day, she'd have lost weight. Like, but I don't think when why does she have that stupid septum piercing in? We have one. I just sliced it, baked potato. So let's do this thing. I haven't yet tried it, so I'm like, mm. oh my gosh. You can't tell me that this this isn't some sexual thing. This is so weird. Do you see her eyes rolling to the back of her head? Oh my gosh. See, when people are like, oh, it's so in, like when her and babies and stuff are like, oh, it's so innocent. Like she's just eating on camera. That's all she's doing. She's not doing anything. No, there is some fucking fucking weirdos out there that are really getting off on a 600 pound woman eating on camera like this like she has to be being instructed to roll her eyes into the back of her i've never eaten anything in my entire life that has caused me to orgasm like that that fast okay i don't agree with that <laughs> so good and then we have water so, because you know, gotta keep it that like I can't. Yeah, this is definitely a lot of food, but yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. <laughs> I've decided that I'm gonna, um, ooh. could you take any bigger of a fucking bite? My god, I mean, we've literally just started this and you've almost eaten like a sixth of what was on the plate like <laughs> Stephanie thank you so much for the super chat her breathing just sitting and eating is scary I mean the whole thing's scary I mean I don't okay I want to say this and y'all can quote me on this or whatever um I've had some people come at me and be like, don't you feel bad for being disrespectful to Amber Lynn or do you feel bad about like what you say about her I will say this. <laughs> there are probably have been times where I have carried on too much. Like I've probably gotten like too carried away, but I don't, I don't see why I have to be expected to have more respect for someone that doesn't respect themselves. Like I don't see it. And if I, at this point, it's almost like I'm reacting to a character on the Like I understand that she's a real person or whatever, but like, I don't think that this is real. Like I honestly don't think that like this is, <laughs> I think that she thinks, I don't know, dude. I think she thinks she's Trisha Paytas, but she's not like she's she's not aware that she's like killing herself. Like, I don't understand what she's trying to do. 
I feel as though I don't know. She's like she's stuck. I don't know. She's fucked herself with this. I don't know. I don't know. I was trying to go with that. A bite with potato. Great. We see it. We've seen the Come food. On. It looks like fucking cat food. We know. Willow Davis. Thank you so much. For there we go. Pops. Okay. So, oh yeah, the window's open. So if you hear wind, that's why we have a storm coming through. But for the first time in my life, I'm counting carbs. And you guys probably... <laughs> what? For the first time in her life, she's counting carbs. You see the potato and you're like, what? How? So. How? How do you count carbs? I don't know. You read, you read the nutrition labels of the food you're eating? I'll explain. That's not a normal reaction. This is... When people are always like, oh, she's involved in fetal porn, Gator Gato Brado, you'll suffer so much with this one. XOXO Argentina. Hey, I want to go to Argentina. There's like a really hot guy on Instagram I follow that was in Argentina. <laughs> I'm so... Uh, Titsy Doll, I'm so tired of Amber and not losing weight. <laughs> well... That ain't gonna change. But those faces she makes, the eye rolling, the mmm. Uh, her volume is too loud. Okay. Put a one if I need to lower her volume. Because I'm gonna get it right, because I know everyone gets all like, I can't hear it. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, her volume is too loud. All right, we'll turn her down. Mm-hmm. 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 This is where it's at, you guys. I didn't use butter, didn't use oil. I just used water. I would hope that you wouldn't need to put butter or oil in a pot when you're cooking sausage. Like, I would hope that the sausage in itself has enough fat in it <laughs> to, I don't know, to make your pan slick so you wouldn't need to fucking, like, need to deal with that. Like, I mean, like, come on, yo. Like, that's fucking crazy. I would hope that you're not cooking your sausage in butter. Like, that's crazy. To cook this that's just how I prefer and um for sneeze beans I used garlic powder onion powder even though there's onion already but I love onion why are you putting more seasoning in a fucking sausage that makes no, it already has tons of sodium in it. it already has tons of oh my god I literally just made <laughs> jambalaya or whatever and like literally the only thing you do you don't even need seasoning in it you just literally cut up a bunch of andouille sausage and cook it in a pot and then cook everything else in that and that seasons it enough because it's already salt like i don't oh my god it's so much sodium how much sodium do you think is in that i'm gonna put money down one kielbasa sausage three thousand grams of sodium i put i have probably around three thousand grams of sodium and pepper <laughs> But, um, I've never counted carbs, ever, in my life. <laughs> no because shit. Because I've always been told carbs are good for you, which they are. I'm not saying they're, like, bad. Girl, whatever you've been told your entire life is not working. So, literally... <laughs> I can't. You're 560 pounds. Everything you know is wrong. But eating less carbs makes you lose weight. So this is 58 carbs. She I'm count, not just doing... Jessica Butt, thank you so much for the super chat. She counts carbs like I get a bonus at work every year, barely, and it's laughable. <laughs> That's pretty good. Counting carbs. I'm also counting calories because... Because that's work. Because <laughs> 
Hashtag pork rinds. She's crazy. She's out of her fucking mind. I don't even know anymore. Pork rinds, very low in carbs, very high in calorie. I currently don't have any pork rinds, but that definitely sounds good. Um, um, Why are you talking about them, though? So That's so weird. <laughs> for all of this, 58 carbs. That's a lot of carbs. I feel like that's a lot of carbs for one meal. For a whole ass plate of sausage and a potato? Jesus Christ. I'm not going to ketosis. I am, a lot of people are gonna be like, this is ridiculous, but I'm afraid to go in ketosis. That is ridiculous. You're afraid of ketosis? <laughs> What is she afraid of? Is she afraid that like she's gonna like lose weight? Like is that what she's afraid of? That like she might actually be successful in her weight loss? That's the craziest shit. See am I supposed to feel bad for someone that this that is like legitimately like out of her fucking mind? Like I can't. Is she for real? I was talking to my friend uh I was talking to my friend about this the other day, like and I was like, Is she is this real? Like is like it, it would be hilarious if like she like got out of her fat suit or whatever and it was like she's like psyched i like bow ratted your ass it's like because i can't believe that she would actually her lips formed those words and took them out of her mouth lexi luhu i swear if she could unhinge her jaw like a snake and swallow the whole plate she would probably thank you so much rachel um she talks to us like we're the stupid ones yeah she does that she's very she does that a lot For that's been a very common reasons. thing in her channel um but Nutritionist Amberlynn Reed. Mm. Why are you doing that? Doing it's just fucking food. It's so weird. It's so weird. A lot it's of so research. weird. You hit ketosis. She does that. You know when heroin, about. like, do you remember watching like Intervention or like True Life, like I'm on heroin and stuff, and they like they go into the bathroom and they film the people like shooting up their arms with heroin or whatever, and they literally sit there and like they like like they just like close their eyes and are like just like fucking like they just bl like zone out or whatever from the drugs it's like that it's like we're getting micros micro like f of those feelings over and over again seventy grams of carbs a day it's like a light mild ketosis but what is a light mild ketosis can is that a thing can we let's google it real quick let's google it. is there such a thing as is there such a thing as mild light ketosis i spelt all of that wrong There's not. There's no such thing as a light, mild ketosis. <laughs> so crazy. I can't. She's like making this shit up as she goes. See, that's why I'm like, is she for real? Is she like dead ass serious right now? Gato Brado. Oh my God. Thought the same thing about the fat suit. Such a troll, right? Thank you so much for the super chat. I can't. That's right. Survive, sleep, slay is right. Uh, uh, if you haven't, su subscribe to her channel. Subscribe to her podcast. She's fucking amazing. I love her. We talk all the fucking time. She's a dope bitch. She's a d I was going to call her the B word, but I was like, eh, I don't know. Some 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 people don't like it when I call women the B word, but like it's a B word in like very like loving ways. Like she's like, I love her. So follow her. <laughs> I was going to say she's that bitch, but like I know like some people don't like that. So hit it, obviously, if you eat even less carbs than that. Staying below 50, staying below 40. Especially staying below 20. Can you cut those potatoes in half for me, please? And eat normal. Like, my mom would have slapped the fork out of my fucking hand if I did something like that. <laughs> like, you're going to eat this food. You can eat all this food, but you're going to eat it like a normal person and not like a savage. Mm. I said we need to loop a rope through mm. her fake septum and lead her out to... Oh, my God. <laughs> Deal. It so bad. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, my nose tickles. Sam Callahan, she may just like living in Kentucky, so, but she would never survive in um, California. We're too lit out here. <laughs> right. She wouldn't survive out Twinkie, here. Twinkie, if you hear my dog. She wouldn't survive the heat where I live, that's for I'm sure. Eating. Mom, can I have a bite? Even though I just ate? <laughs> my dog doesn't do that. 
My dog doesn't beg for food because he knows better. He is not allowed to have human food. So that, to me, implies that she gives Twinkie food all the fucking time, which is why Twinkie's probably so big and can't breathe. So, um, what I'm planning on doing is for my first meal, I'm going to have, like, the most carbs, I feel like. Why? Jesus Christ, could you, like, calm down? That's one thing I've never understood. When I watch My 600 Pound Life or whatever, too, is when they do the double biting, like, it's like they missed the amount that they wanted. So they, like, so while they have food in their mouth and are chewing, they go and put more food in their mouth. And I'm like, can't you just, like, eat what's in your mouth first? And, th like, you don't need to do, like, boom. Like, it's a little bit much, right? Like, like watch. Most carbs, I feel watch. like. Only got one sausage. Still eating. Let me put more in my mouth. Why do they do that? And why is her eyes rolling to the back of her head? Like, slow it like down. Your first meal in the day. Slow down your meal. Slow down Which your is eating. this. And, um... That door is so loud. You know, it's interesting. Every damn fitness did a video kind of reaching out to, um... Kristen... I'm not even going to try to say your last name. Because I'll fuck it up. Paying you in advance to do the whole video. Good luck. P.S. I love supporting you because I fully endorse you. My profession. Hey, girl. A. Hey. Thanks, girl. Thanks so much for the super chat. Um, that was one thing I wanted to like kind of discuss, too, is um, like every day, every day, damn fitness. He did a video kind of reaching out to like her family and her loved ones to like intervene. And like I felt so bad for him because I was like, you don't understand that no one gives a fuck. Like, that's the sad part. Like, no one in her... Because, dude, if I were walking in and I saw, like... I had a drop kick that played off the table. <laughs> just straight up, just like, nope, we're not doing it. Like, I would have just, like... Like, it's like that skit or whatever that, like, Amy... um what's her name that comedian that stole her jokes i can't remember her name right now where like that you like hire someone to like slap food out of your hand i'm sorry but dude but if i was if there was someone i knew and like i was around them and like they had like i'd hit the food out of their mouth like i would i'm not doing it and like your first meal of the day you need to like carb up why what are you gonna go do what run a marathon like what are you gonna go run, like are you gonna go participate in a triathlon later or something it makes no sense like i don't uh and, um, my goal... Do y'all think she's going to go to her brother's wedding? No, because her brother's in jail. For now, since I've never done this. See, the thing is, you guys, on the daily... Roundhouse it off the table, roundhouse, I'm right? It's like a food ninja. Carbs, <sighs> when I'm binging, when I'm overeating, I probably eat about 400 carbs a day. God damn. Possibly more. It's really, really easy to I do. I feel like, what? There's it's easy to eat 400 carbs a day? Girl, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so crazy. Oh my God. That's so nuts. She can easily eat 400 carbs. No wonder, dude. I can't. This is fucking crazy. Ellie Smith, thank you so much for the super chat. Yeah, her her brother's in jail. Aunt Tammy um, said that in Shaquana Jefferson's live stream like a couple weeks ago. He went back to jail. There's That's why she was all sad and shit or whatever. It's like, oh my God. It's not like when she was all like, whatever. Carbs and things that you don't even think of. There's carbs in these onions. There's carbs in these bell pepper. There's carbs in the meat. Obviously. The yeah, meat there's carbs in that meat because it's fucking sausage. If you ate a lean protein, it'd have way less carbs. She just, she's conflating, like, carbs from chips and, like, carbs from, like, vegetables, which is crazy to me. Like, that's completely different. That's a completely different, like, kind of carb. I can't. I hate her. A potato. Um, I hope people watch this and don't, don't really, like... Video. I just want to explain everything that I'm doing. So... That's a big-ass bite. For me... That is crazy. Is she going to put that in her mouth? I want to stick to around a moderate carb level what is that for and you and also calorie level okay what I is that i want to cut out pasta i'm cutting out uh rice oh <gasps> <gasps> she put that all in her mouth what the fuck <laughs> that's crazy is she gonna talk with that food in her mouth
I'm cutting out bread. How um, did she eat that that fast? Did she even chew it up, really? That's crazy. The only <laughs> carbs that I'm allowing myself is from potatoes, vegetables Why? like peas, carrots, um, beans on the occasion. But I'm going to stay around 150 beans on a 100 to 150 carbs, which I feel like is going to be kind of hard to get that high when you're trying. But you just talked about how, like, you can eat 400 carbs, a, like, 400 grams of carbs a day. Like, I. If something tells me that, like, it, it's easy for you. If you think it's easy for you to get 400 carbs a day, God only knows. God only knows. Like, Krista Carey, fake septum piercing, black t-shirt, dark hair. I think our girl finally found the gothic look outside is the black holy spandex. I know. Where's all the new clothes that she bought from Torrid? Why is she wearing a towel? <laughs> Trying to lower your carbs because this is my first meal of the day and it's 58 carbs. So that crazy. With that is crazy. This is your first meal. Like 100 carbs. About 60 to 100. Why, you know, I know that she's not doing the Octavia thing or whatever. Why not use your Octavias? Why not do an Octavia meal? If she just, I don't know, dude. If she just substituted maybe one of her Octavia meals a day or a bar a day, for, if she substituted that, that, she'd lose weight. If she didn't gorge herself after that. But, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I shouldn't, she doesn't have the willpower to do that, I guess, though. math though <laughs> this is a joke to her like literally the see this is where i'm like am i supposed to care more about someone else's health than her like i don't get i'm not her doctor or nurse or anything like that so like i mean if she came and to the like whatever and i was right and i'd be like yeah i would like obviously i'm gonna help you or whatever but like she's posting she's willingly posting this online like she's 560 pounds and she's posting herself eating a whole kielbasa and a whole baked potato and eating and like fucking orgasming over like are, how why are we supposed to feel bad for this person i don't understand that like tell me if, if someone didn't explain to me why i'm supposed to feel bad for this person in a logical sense i will hear you out straight up message me on twitter if you if if you have a a, a logistical argument as to why i should feel bad for this person then and it's a sound reasoning i want to hear it because I have a hard time figuring it out, right? Because she literally just sat here and cried about how she was so scared for her life not even a month ago. Not even a month ago she was scared for her life. And she's on here doing mukbangs again already? I don't understand. So we're going to see how this goes for me. Um, I want my first meal to be the heaviest on my Why? stomach. Because I feel like that'll help keep me satiated through the day and uh carrie leave amberlynn alone she's trying really hard and lost two pounds recently <laughs> ali good she's lying thanks so much for the super chats everyone one love i don't know how she hasn't choked seriously thank you so much for the super chats i don't either um what else obviously no candy no cereals no i would hope you're not eating candy chips isn't that like a given? It's going to be really hard. And it's just, I've heard so much about doing moderate slash. I mean, does he not, does she not see how fucking sad it is that she's like eating on top of five board games boxes? And like, I just can't like, it's fucking crazy. Why do I need to mod someone? <clears throat> shaming and bullying and trolling i love it that's what he said that was the best he got okay <laughs>
carb diets help with binging oh, and food yeah. cravings. So I'm here for it. I'm here to give it a go. I want to take a really big bite. You, this is a really big bite. The other I'm here 12 to bites try it haven't been a really big bite. See if it works for me. And I feel like if I ever do decide to hey, it's go okay. keto so or at least go chat. lower in carbs, at least I know. Oh, they get worse. Oh, great. Not at least I know, but at least I'll be closer to. How do I word this? Because <laughs> if I go just she's from like, how do I figure this lie out keto, on the spot? Oh my god, I'm gonna have headaches, keto flu, this and that. But That's if I what go you're from worried about. To just like moderate slash low carb, it's gonna be less. You're worried about you're gonna you're gonna get a headache. That's why you're not gonna do keto. That's like that's your determinant. Is like got you ha you got a headache. You were discomforted at all. Losing weight is hard. Losing weight is uncomfortable. Losing weight isn't fucking fun. If it was, everyone would do it. Like you're really gonna sit here and be like, I'm not gonna try this because I'm gonna have a headache. If you stopped eating disgusting food then you, you, you were gonna, you'd have a, you'd have a withdrawal from that too if you stopped eating processed sugar if you stopped eating uh processed food processed meats fuck frozen dinners all that stuff then you would have a headache too you would have a withdrawal from that too why are you so afraid of ketosis i don't get it of a detox and more realistic. So we're gonna just try it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. So good. That was a big ass bite. <laughs> That's wind. What are these edits? What is that? Why are, what is this? Why is she doing this? She's a troll, dude. She's in full blown troll, dude. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Shelby Gust, Gustaf, I can't say that. I don't think she knows how keto works. Nope. One love donated. Thank you so much for the super chat. Yes, her chewing gets frantic and pretty scary. That's so crazy. I think a tornado just went through. <laughs> well, you secured the house. Good job. Oh, you, you did your job. That was me. My babe. My girlfriend. Are we going to brag about my the love. flowers your girlfriend brought my with your world. money? That's crazy. She That's fucking crazy. <laughs> She's going to she's going to brag about the money that like the 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 flowers that Becky got her spending the money that Amber makes by slowly killing herself on YouTube. That's dark. If you think about it, like like I wonder if Becky's at the flower shop and is like, yeah, Amber had to like gain 300 pounds on YouTube for me to get these flowers for her. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. That's so crazy. Kelly Briggins, her leg is about to rot off her body and she's afraid of a headache. Exactly, exactly. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. Thank you so much for the super chat. This is some baby's breath. Willow Davis, what starter Pokemon are you gonna get? I don't know the starter Pokemon. The monkey one, probably. I don't know. I'm so I know there's a monkey one. I don't know the name. I love roses of any color, but my favorite color rose is the wine red rose mm -hmm. is she gonna finish this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. damn she's killing that baked potato though i'll tell you what so i love how she's like so proud of herself for not like God, using like butter and stuff on the baked this, potato like, but the amount of fat and oil coming off that sausage is like enough you don't need any butter that's typical <laughs> jesus christ why is she taking such big bites? Grookey, that's his name, Grookey. So. Y'all, the wind, though. I'm personally down with it, though. 
Um, You're personally down with the win. Congrats. With all of the windows open right now. Why is she wearing that fake septum piercing? My We're God. I'm going to close them in a little bit, though. But there's a blizzard happening up north in the same storm. It's also down here in the south. Well, south. But it's not cold enough for it to, like, blizzard, so. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm Mid almost done, okay? Mindy, thank you so much for the super chat. I feel bad because she was listening to music and... I could hear it. I don't know if you guys could hear it. YouTube's copyright stuff is going. Oh, ham. so so <laughs> I can't. Really? Is she really gonna try to fit that in her fucking? Mind? I can't, dude. She's crazy. Thank you so much for the super chat. I love that everyone has to put their fucking lives on hold so that Amber Lynn can fucking film herself making <laughs> eating food on camera. Like that is so crazy to me. No one in that ho fan house think that this is fucking nuts. No one. Not a single person is like, what the fuck are we doing? What is happening here? <laughs> We're accommodating this woman like this. This is crazy. Trey Saylor. Thank you so much for the super chat. Surprised she hasn't used the flowers as a garnish. <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't. Cut it in half, you fucking crazy. Dude. What the fuck? She's a literal heathen. She's a fucking heathen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't, dude. I can't. What is she? She doesn't even like break. It's like she. It's like her body powers into like her separate set of eating lungs, so she doesn't even have to I breathe knew it. and eat. Shelby Gustafon, I can't say it. The piercing is Does that relax you guys hearing the wind? Oh my god. Thank you so much for that. Stinky socks. You cannot trust anyone who eats that many mushy onions. Calm down, bro. <laughs> right? They're not even like caramelized onions. It'll They're be just okay, like soggy onions. Can you like chew with your mouth closed? My a god. Scared bong. See, this is why I do not like <laughs> fuck bongs. Scary mukbang. I love that though. <laughs> what is it, Trixie? The dogs are like, you well, know when the dogs get worried? When I don't usually don't like care, but as soon as the dogs get worried, that's when I get scared. Like as soon up. as monks are asking a fucking phone, like we're dying. The world's ending, I know it. I know it. He knows it. The world's ending. <laughs> How many sausages can you fit in your mouth? Three or four or five. So many different mukbangers and they eat. I don't know. Disgustingly, I feel like you do. Looking at the camera while I'm eating. You've done this this whole time. You've been doing this for years. What are you talking about? You feel weird about this. What are you talking about? I can't. I just uh, look up occasionally. She's All literally bad. drinking her food. Oh my god. Right? Thank you so much for the super chat. Tina Alexandra, she has a, a glottis like a snake, obviously. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Ooh, your girl's full. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You're not full. Don't lie to yourself like that. You're gonna get every morsel. You're full, but you're you're full, but you're gonna get every oh. fucking scrap off that plate though. I'll tell you. Instantly sad. She's sad. Look how depressed she you guys is. Are now. sitting on a board game. Oh my god. Full, but I can drink half a bottle of water too. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. I'm a mess. Ooh. Oh my god. What a lady. What a lady. <laughs> what a sophisticated, dainty woman. I can't. That girl from Mars, she's literally drink. Oh, I already said that one. Psych. Okay. I hope this video isn't ruined by the storm. Look how like depressed she is that her food's done. Because sometimes cameras, like when you pick up wind, it sounds really bad. So we'll see. 
Katie Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Super, super I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I can't. I f Justine's done. Look at Justine's over it. <laughs> Look at this. I love this thumbnail. She's just like, that is literally me. That is literally, she's just like, she's done. She can't, she literally can't anymore. She's just like, she's fucking over it. I can't. That is so funny. That's so fucking funny. Oh God. Have you guys seen the, um, there's a channel called like mukbang calorie counter or whatever, or mukbang, mukbang, whatever. It's hilarious. I fucking love it. I love it so much. They just sit there and like count calories. Look at these thumbnails. Like, what are these? Starting, wait. So two weeks ago, she started her new day one thing. And then by two weeks later, she's doing mukbangs. Like, I can't. And literally every video of her is her sitting at the dining room table or in her bed. It's fucking crazy. Freddie Mercury, can you imagine her in the apocalypse? She'd get eaten. If there was like a zombie apocalypse, she'd get eaten first. I feel like if Amberlynn was a zombie, she'd probably walk faster as a zombie than she would like as a not zombie. <laughs> Monica B. Hey, Petty King, you're saving me from ripping my hat. I'm stuck in traffic jam on my commute home and it's 8.15 p.m. Oh my God. What the fuck? There's a traffic jam at 8.15. Here's goes there. She blows, right? Do you think when she swims, she sprees out of her back? That was mean. That I shouldn't have said that. That was super mean. I don't want to react to Nikocado. I don't like, I honestly don't like reacting to eating channels. I don't like it. I don't watch them. I'll do a KDW. I'll do a KDW and then we'll call it a day because I've already been on here for an hour and 30 minutes. I didn't finish this one, so let's do this one. This episode. Hello, Whopper. Becky. Did someone say black? Is Mike your middle name? <laughs> I remember when fucking Who's Line It Anyway was so good. Hello! Welcome to Who's Line Is It Anyway, the show where everything's made up and the points don't matter. That's right, the points are uh, like... The Every time that I have stepped on the scale... That's right, the points don't matter. The points <laughs> are like... I'm just gonna eat whatever I want today, Saturday and Sunday. The points are uh, like... like so happy. 100 days of... <laughs> the points are uh, like 100 days of trying. I can't. This I love JP Mutt's Hungry Bear. Thank you so much for the super chat. Food. It's brought to you by food. I had high hopes for my life, plans Ooh. and dreams, but slowly and painfully. My food addiction is killing me. Why are you jumping on my case? You're a weenie. I love Dr. Yeah. It is our fault. My life is bleak. Carrie yeah, donated $1 shout out to change. my girlfriend, Mana. Hey, Mana. Mana. Welcome back. Who's line is it anyway? <laughs> Show these made up the words of Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, good. Let's start. Uh, what happens is before the show, we have uh, the audience write down different suggestions for scenes they like our performers to act out. We take the good ones, put them in the sat, and see how many of these guys can think of. Starting with the <laughs> uh, disturbing times to make animal noises. <laughs> oh my so, god! I know a lot of you are probably waiting for Katie the Black weigh in, and it's I quite KW unfortunate. But I am at a new highest yeah. weight now. It's five sixty four. Terrified. <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst that choker, though. imprisonment in the world. Y'all remember this really video? Is. And then and this is where we are now? I can't. This, trust me. What a fucking weirdo. I can't, dude. I fucking What's can't. What's on TV in hell? Hello, guys. So, today is going to be another story time. Great. Um, oh, y'all, do y'all remember when, like, Chantel tried to, like, throw dirt on me and be like, oh, you're on here talking about, like, your mom and stuff, and someone's making fun of your hair. Bitch. 
you're out of your fucking mind. Like, I, literally, I made that post on Instagram and Twitter two weeks before he uploaded that video about his mom. Second of all, you've done and said far worse about other people. And third of all, you know what? You know what? Another thing about Chantel that's fucking annoying is she likes to pretend that like all she does is spread positivity. Did you know that on Joey's World Tour, you know Joey's World Tour, he's the food mukbang, he's the food reviewer guy. She had the fucking audacity to go on his channel and criticize what he eats, right? But someone does that to her, uh-uh, not gonna happen. I can't. Gr uh, get a donated girl loves her sausage rope. Yummy. <laughs> yeah, she does. I can't stand Chantel. Um. 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 <laughs> I can't. This. <laughs> Are these all different clips? So, as a child growing up. I can't. Jeopardy questions where the Who's Line cast members are the answers. This oh, God. How does she do this? I would never be able to do this. With 50 years to Joanne Woodward, this actor said, I have steak at home. Why should I go out for a hamburger? The actress Rebecca Gayhart. One love for 400. <laughs> I married and lived happily ever afterwards, wrote this British prime minister of his union, which lasted from 1908 to 1965. King Edward III of England. <laughs> One heart for 400. Sanguine term for someone considered How does she fucking do this? I can't. The How the fuck does she come up with this? I am extremely empathetic. When I see a homeless person, I give them money, even if they're going to go oh, buy alcohol. Amber the Saint. One heart for 800. Okay, you guys are going to pass out. I can't. How I does she find all of this? I can't. Tell us it's the Playtex bra that lifts and separates. People <laughs> in their fascination with my dirty, nasty, stinky bra. Whatever that you still mind. wear to this day. I have one bra and I only wear one bra. I only have one. Just one bra. Being my size, it is kind of hard, you know, and I have gained quite a bit of weight, but my dirty, nasty, stinky bra kind of just... How does she know, put that bra on? Like, I logistically want to know, like, how does she do that? I just can't see her Things buckling a bra behind her back. Like, I can't minute. see that happening. I'm trying to lose Do you think about Becky puts a bra on for her? 380, I don't know. Math, let me do math real quick. This girl barely needs a calculator. <laughs> 390. 390. This girl barely needs a calculator. I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Things found written in hillbilly fortune cookies. Oh my god. Oh god. Keep on trucking along. <laughs> oh my god. Don't let the hate define who you are, but also don't let the good define who you are because you shouldn't let other people judge you. What? What is that even? I can't. Amber Lynn is like a little Try better yourself whether you want to draw a picture and you want to practice more or practice on a guitar. When you send out positive affirmations into the world, you'll get positive positive. That's why you're 560 pounds still. I can't. It's like the secret. You need to make your chili Just thicker. You What's need to really make your going chili through thicker. George I'm dead. W. Bush's it's so mind true. During cabinet meetings. Oh my god. Very fast, so oh my god. <sighs> gotcha. Kelsey Am Jeezy, where's your petty patch? Let me no. uh, it's it's over there. I forgot Who's to put it on. Who's is it anyway? Shower Thank cam. you so much for the super chat. <laughs> oh my god. Are appropriate times to show off your stomach muscles. You were here before. Some of the comments do get to me. Oh no. Look 
This is when, like, Amber instructed Becky to be all sad and mopey. I don't know, Do you think, I'm afraid to be thank you, Jordan. Do you think Amber and Becky sleep together? I mean, in the same bed, yeah. I just feel like... Look how much smaller weird. Becky was in this. Because I lost my nephew. What does her losing her nephew have to do with the comments on and YouTube? I've definitely been acting weird lately because... Um, because... <laughs> this song. Because I lost my nephew. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. Oh god. So weird. Things things you don't want to hear as you finish your last bite of dinner. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have irregular periods. Oh god. <laughs> if you're a girl, you know how it feels oh, to god. have I look at cat. Look how much smaller she is in this video compared to now. You know now. how it feels to have. And this wasn't even that long ago. Stuff come out, like blood clots. Oh my god! I forgot um, about this. So, to put it lightly, I had to stand in the shower for over an hour and just let it Ugh. flow. <laughs> and I, I can't even exaggerate. How what would much compel someone to put this in blood? Video? I was losing. I don't get it. Kind of gross, actually. <laughs> I fucking love the office. Things you don't want to hear in the dark. Oh god. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I can't. Oh. <laughs> it's terrifying. Kill it with fire. Oh my god. I can't. With your next happy meal, get a free. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrifying. You get to hang out with Ronald all day, all night. You're gonna have so much McFlippity Flappity fun with McFlippity Flappity Ron. McFlippity Flappity Ron. He'll do your dishes. That Chantel thing Ride killed me. School. That's so funny. He'll even bathe your kids. Go ahead and get the whole thing. What the fuck? Show with Wayne Gray, you read the credits. Wayne, I want you to read the credits while uh, Ryan and Jeff hold your arms, and Colin what? tickles your butt. Thanks for watching, what? everybody. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I miss whose line is it anyway? You seem so good. <laughs> KDW kills these edits. I don't know how she does these. She's so good at this. Jessica Vos, try to watch this Things at work and not laugh. I lost, right? Graduate from medical school. The doctor, she said to me, you're healthy. Like she, she had my charts in her hand. She was like, you're healthy. And it was funny because she was like, we'll start this on January 1st. And I was just like, oh, okay. Sure, what Jan. the fuck? Sure, Jan. <laughs> Did y'all see the tweets and stuff? Cause she was getting like on the on the um on the kielbasa video on the sausage one. Like her like to dislike ratio is so crazy. Like let me see. Yeah, one thousand likes, nine thousand dislikes. And so she was on Twitter like defending herself, like saying all this crazy shit. She's like, my doctor was the one who told me about this meal. Your doctor did not instruct you to eat an entire thing of kielbasa sausage and an entire baked potato. Like, there's no way. I don't. There's no way. And you don't talk to your doctor enough to know. <laughs> but yeah, like I don't even know how she like. I don't get it. Honestly, don't get it. <clears throat> yeah. So it's just like, it's, it's crazy. 
it's crazy how she thinks that like how she I don't know dude it's I don't think people are asking me like do you think she's gonna change and I don't think it's gonna happen I honestly don't think it's gonna happen didn't realize you could deep feed a potato me neither Dr. Google <clears throat> She had 11,000 dislikes before? Girl, that's bad. That's so bad. I believe her doctor is her in the mirror with a bandage in her hand? Probably. I contributed to that 9K, me too. Can she still walk like slightly? I don't know, I don't, I think that, I don't know. I don't think she's gonna lose any weight. I don't think she has any plans on losing weight to be real. I honestly don't think she does. I don't think she is, I don't think she's dissatisfied with her life. I think she enjoys it thoroughly. I think that she loves the attention as a negative as it is. I think she enjoys food way too much. Um, yeah, I don't think she's gonna lose weight. And I feel bad for like obese to beast and all those people that have reached out to her and tried to help her because she's never gonna like, she's never gonna take the advice. She's never gonna do it. So. Twinkie Star donated three hearts. Thank you. God Arbato, love you. Good night, Petty Squad. Thank you so much. I thank you so much. She doesn't want to change at all. She doesn't want to change in the slightest. Stop saying like, I know it's hard. I grew up in Southern California, okay? I grew up around a bunch of like Valley girls. It's hard for me to not say like all the time. I try not to. Cam 12, 13, 75. Thank you so much for the super chat. Cassie Thompson, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh my God, I finally made it. <laughs> How much does she weigh? 560. She says she weighs 560, but I don't know. Even if she had a medical emergency, I don't, her legs hurting all the time, I think would be enough to like get you to do it. You know, the thing too is like, she talks about, she talks about her legs hurting and stuff. And then like, she goes on and eats like an entire thing of sausage. Like that's not gonna help with your fluid retention. So I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> like she needs to be on a low sodium, low carb, low cal. Like she needs to just be like drinking water. <laughs> Do you like being tall? I mean, yeah. So, I mean, it's all I know, so. Are you Hispanic? I am not. YouTube thought I was. YouTube's algorithm algorithm thought I was a Latino. <laughs> so they invited me to like the Next Up Latino Summit or, or they wanted me to apply to it. And I was like, I'm not Latino, but thank you. Love the food. I love South American food, like, but not Latino. I am half white, half black. I'm actually like on my thing or whatever, on my 23andMe, I'm like 57% like European or something. And then like 43% um, African American, African. All right, yo, I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna go lay down. I'm gonna take a fucking nap or something. Even though it's like 6.30, I'm so tired. But thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to try to film a video this weekend. And I'm just going to depend on how I feel. But um, I'm going to try my damnedest to film my uh, pro problematic opinions about YouTubers video. And get that out to this weekend. But thank you all so much to everyone that tuned in. Thank you so much to all the super chatters. I appreciate it. Um, uh, love y'all. And until next time, toodles. <laughs>